So, um, how do we see modernism in Christianity, and is modernist Christianity in danger of becoming not just a false Christianity, but something else, something other than Christianity, right, in the way that we were talking about before? Because modernism as such is a foreign element to Christianity. Modernism did not emerge out of Christianity. Modernity and modernism arose out of a, frankly, to be totally blunt, out of a rejection of Christianity. Hmm. Yeah. Out of an attempt to find a basis for civilization apart from the Christian religion in Western Europe. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, it's a kind of ideological Tower of Babel. Yeah. And, and everywhere where modernism has taken hold, right, it, it causes a revolution. And that yep. revolution is always anti-Christian. Yep. See France. <laughs> right. See Russia. Um, so it, it, it is a foreign element. It is a verse. And so when Christianity gets reshaped by a foreign element, that's where we start moving into the territory of, okay, this is something else. This isn't just a false form of Christianity. This is something other than Christianity. Right. Um, and so you could very easily see how Christianity we're in the United States, so we're looking at it here, but I imagine other people in other countries of Western European origin or connection or cultural uh, tradition may see this too, how Christianity has gotten reshaped around individualism, around entertainment, uh, restructured in a sort of democratic way, right? Um and has thereby become this sort of very artificial thing, this very constructed thing, right? People come and write new progressive creeds. Yes. Oh, they're horrible too. Right? These are not creeds that emerge out of the lived experience of a group of religious people. This is someone deliberately trying to write a new progressive creed. Yeah, like I've got an idea. Right. It is, it is artificial. Or rewritten right. versions of the Our Father, also very yes. popular. <laughs> That's, um, or innovative worship styles or elements, right? Uh, and uh, here's the problem. We're going to get into this more in the third half. But the response to this, the, the sort of trad response, right? The traditionalist response. Um which is not the same as the response of tradition, but the traditionalist response has basically just been the flip side of the same coin. So while the modernist wants to reconstruct Christianity according to the tenets of modernism, the traditionalist wants to reconstruct Christianity in terms of their own personal view of the tradition. Yeah. With, with no one else having a say <laughs> over what they, <laughs> over what they think. Unless they can claim the majority and then they appeal to democracy. Yeah. Yeah. Which again, right. So it's, it's just as modern, <laughs> right? It's just as much as a modernist approach. It's just a preference that looks aesthetically more traditional right but is not actually part of the tradition it's just as artificial it's just as much of a reconstruction and ultimately just as modernist all right and we see then in these groups where christianity has been reshaped by modern trends you see for example that egalitarianism expressed in sexuality uh in who they ordain which is just about anybody because everybody's the same remember yeah. um <laughs> that's um and as we talked about right you look at these areas 
right? How does modernism affect the ethical way of life? It becomes different, a different way of a life, different way of life practiced by Christianity, yep. right? Uh, scriptures become a very different thing. <laughs> right? um, worship becomes a very different thing. The view of the world is very different, right? Uh, they actually have a more positivist view of the material created world than uh, Christianity has held. So it's sort of the opposite problem of Gnosticism. Gnosticism, of course, said the whole world out there is all evil, right? Yeah, this Bad is... and you should stay away from it. Whereas they say it's all good and untainted by any sin. Yeah, there's <laughs> right? the, the, the denial of fallenness. Yeah, right? The noble savage, right? Rousseau again, right? Um, so, you know, so again, on these criteria we're using, it's a different religion, right? Um, and uh, as we mentioned, right, there's a, there's a difference between the tradition and traditionalism. Tradition is something which forms and is formed in a community living together and sharing a common life. Traditionalism is an individual idea, person's ideology or preferences or view. Yeah, I, I really like in his little book, um, which was, uh, I think, a, a lecture originally by uh, Yaroslav Pelikan um, called The Vindication of Tradition. He has a very famous saying that tradition is the living faith of the is it the living faith of the dead, whereas traditionalism is the dead faith of the living? I always love a good uh, um, chiasmus. Yeah. Um, but but I mean, it's a good shorthand, right? Because yeah. because tradition is something you become part of, whereas traditionalism is a thing you construct. Mm 